Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This isn't one of my typical videos. We're getting an update out as quick as possible. I've got a couple more videos coming out in the next 24 hours, so stick around for that. But today, Bitcoin is falling through its previous low. It's something we've been tracking on the channel, which is why I want to do a quick update for you guys. Looking at my target price of where I would look to buy in more Bitcoin. Also, Ethereum has punched to new all-time highs, but has now since settled below the all-time high. So we've got a couple of hours left to go on uh, on the chart until we get a daily close. So I'm gonna be paying very close attention to that. And ETH versus Bitcoin, the ETH BTC pair has skyrocketed to a new, uh, new high in the interim. So we've got a new high against Bitcoin, Ethereum going up, Bitcoin going down. Is there some sort of decoupling going on here. Let's check that out, plus have a recap of some of the winners and the losers over the last 24 hours. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below so you can catch this time sensitive content as it comes out. We cover everything here uh, on cryptocurrency and investing. So be sure to hit the bell notification icon, like the video up. Let's get started. Let's start with Bitcoin. And what we are currently seeing is Bitcoin testing this level, which we've had here for the last few weeks, because this is an important level for the market to hold. But I like it as a breakdown level. You know, we're talking about this. I want to see it break through this level so that we can clear out some of these stops. This is definitely an area where people have had some stops and they've also got stops sitting below these regions here of around 46,000. So, you know, on the channel, we've been looking at about 40 to $46,000 level. I say 40, 45, 40, 46, but essentially I'm happy not to get greedy. I don't need to see it come down to 40 or 42. I'm happy at around 44, to $46,000 as a buy-in level on Bitcoin. Now, I have said that I haven't been putting in new money to Bitcoin. It just seems overheated. From February, from this top, it, people have been buying these tops and it's been dumping on them, buying the tops, dumping on them, buying the tops, dumping on them. And this, there just has not been much gains uh, to be had through that period. From this top to this top, if people are buying the tops, which most people do, there's only about 10, 11% difference between the tops. And through the gutters, if, you, if you're actually getting the bottoms to the tops, there's only about 30% in it. And it sounds like a lot, but we know this is cryptocurrency, so we're expecting hundreds of percent multiples. And this is finally starting to come into the region of a better risk reward, in my opinion. If we get it down to around this $40,000, $45,000 level, I think we're going to see something like a $120,000, $150,000 Bitcoin in the so in the near, not so short term, but not so far term. Like I don't think that's going to be the market cycle top, but I think we'll probably see something around the vicinity of a one ten to one thirty thousand dollar Bitcoin as the next top. And I've got my reasons for that. Looking at this region here, where we've seen some tops at around call it around that fifty six to sixty four thousand. And basically I'm doubling this area here. And this is another GAN rule. So if you know on the channel, we're following swing trading. GAN rules in particular, 50% levels are fantastic levels. And using that projecting forward from the tops has in the past shown to pre predict future, uh, future top points. So we're gonna keep tracking that. It's not a hard and fast rule, remember that, but it does have some pretty good hits. That's what I've got here, my buy level around 46 because the 50% works very well. We've taken out this low that we set just a few days ago on Sunday on the flash crash and some of the markets are really starting to feel that. However, the ETH markets are doing quite well. So I'll leave you with this on Bitcoin. This is my level around 46. I would be happy to buy some more Bitcoin if we get to that. If we shoot a little lower, no problems. I'm gonna have my alerts. So if we get down there, great. By that stage, the 20 week moving average is probably going to come up to about that level of around the 44 to uh, sorry around the 46,000 because currently the moving average is sitting at around 42,400 and it's climbing by about $1,800 to $2,000 every week. Now, of course, if we fall, this is going to taper off a little bit. So call it 1500 bucks from the current level. Uh, so that's going to give us a price of about $44,000 by the end of this week. So that's why I think this has got a lot of price cluster around this level for Bitcoin. It just looks healthy on the chart as well. A nice bit of a pullback. Uh, percentage move from the previous top that everyone was scared about was around 30%. 
So if we look at this top, 30% brings us, look at that, 45,000. So when you get a lot of these different tools coming together in one point, that's a price cluster and you tend to find a lot of support at those levels because although many traders aren't looking at all of the same tools, we're kind of looking at one of each of the different things. So I'm looking at 50%, someone's looking at moving averages, someone's looking at percentage uh, moves down from the highs. And so we all come together at this one price. There's more price cluster. There's more people at that level. And so maybe the level gets bought up a little bit higher because everyone's expecting a 44,000. That's why I don't want to get too greedy on it and look to get a $39,000 Bitcoin or a 42,000. I'm not going to bet the entire house on 46, badges dropping. I'm not gonna bet the entire house on 46,000. I'm just saying I would be comfortable buying some more Bitcoin at this level because I think the risk reward is back in my favor for Bitcoin long term. Bitcoin dominance also taking a little bit of a hit, but it has stalled for the last few days as the market has crashed. So uh, the rest of the dollar figures on the other altcoins have fallen and that's obviously why the Bitcoin dominance has just started to hold up, even though that we have pushed down now to 50 and we're just a couple of points short of our 150% level. I would call that 150% hit. It's, it's so close, it doesn't matter. It's just a guide. The bottom is 50.06 and the level here is around 49.92. This is a double top. This is how to use a double top Fibonacci extension. Top to top, projected out. GAN says around a 150 to 200% range to be expected from point C. So this is point A. I'll draw this out so you can see. Point A, point B, point C. This is the range, right? So you can see there and you can expect about 200% down. So I'm still looking for this long term, but this doesn't go in a straight line, although it does look like it's happening here. Maybe we have a little bit of a retracement, Bitcoin gets a little bit of strength at some point, we don't know yet, I don't think it's gonna happen just yet, and then we head down like that. So it's not in exact fashion the way I've drawn there, but hopefully you get the idea if you've been watching the channel long enough. Bitcoin dominance is down, that's good for alts. However, the rest of the alts are down because the Bitcoin USD price is down at 51,000. So let's have a look at ETH. I've still got my target on the you know three and a half thousand. Looking at this price of ETH, I think we're probably going to go somewhere in the four thousands, probably in the thirty six hundred. That's where I want to target first. I know I say thirty five, but looking at these tops and the level that we've um, had some accumulation, I'm happy with thirty five, thirty six level. I think that's going to be a pretty good target at this point. The thing that's holding me up at the moment now, just from today's data, and we still have another two hours until close, is that this close on the dollar value is getting way too low. So if you're familiar with candlestick patterns, you've got a shooting star, a hammer, etc., forming at this point, many different names, all the same thing, basically opens low, pushes up, then gets slammed back down with the sales, high volume, and now potentially we're getting a very low close, but we've got two hours. So to void this pattern, which has to be at the top of a bull market trend. You can't just use one of these candle patterns in the middle of a, of a pattern, it doesn't work. It has to be at the end with multiple different price, uh, time and pattern coming together in the chart. They're not standalone features. Uh, a lot of people like to try and use them as standalone and they're not. Um, okay, so we've got high volume. What I'm saying here is what may void this being a hammer at the end of a big bull market trend is if we can get a stronger close. I'm not saying it's the end even if we happen to stay here, but it's gonna give me more confidence if we get a close above yesterday's high. Yesterday's high was at 24,700. And obviously if we can get something in the 25,000, even if we close above the previous close, the previous all time high close, of 2,517, then that's gonna instill a lot more confidence. We got time, it's $120 down. Let's cross our fingers that we get there. Hopefully by the time you see this, you'll have an answer for it. Obviously I'm getting this video out as, uh, as quick as I can from just my analysis this morning. ETH BTC, this is pushing to new highs, new recent highs. This was the previous one in, on the 5th of February. 
and hopefully we get a close above these levels. Ideally, we want to at least a close above the previous previous highest close. So the previous highest, highest close is 0 0.0449. Currently 0 0.04666. Wow. All right, let's hope we don't get that close, but uh, nice strong volume. And it's still strong volume compared to the last couple of months as well. So this is the only volume that's higher than it. And then we have these volume, uh, big volumes at the highs, which are not good signs for highs. That generally means we're going to head down. But if we can get a higher close and start to close above some levels, put in another close the next day, then we're starting to form some solid ground above these levels. So I'm still very bullish on Ethereum. If we happen to get a pullback, that looks kind of healthy from this point because we have a, a few days up, sideways accumulation, a few days up, sideways accumulation, a few days up, we've seen that. Maybe we get some accumulation above these levels. Time will tell. Obviously, this is what I'm talking about here. That would be ideal to get accumulation at these levels before we can start moving again. But if we have a reversal to here, uh, to around that 0.04, we're still okay because we just want to see the market come back and test 50% levels like it did here in March. That is a major 50% bounce and we have bounced from that level. So I'll make mention to a top. So somewhere around this, we've looked at 0.54 and 0.64, great levels for the ETH BTC pair. Pay attention to this because this is gonna tell you if Ethereum is str uh, trending stronger than Bitcoin at the time. So quick summary before we look at the gainers and losers for the last 24 or so hours. Ethereum BTC pair ETH is stronger than Bitcoin. It's what we've been expecting. So that's why a lot of my money is there. You can check it out on Instagram. My daily update of a super fund portfolio, my retirement fund, your 401ks, your Roth IRAs, whatever it is in the US, the UK, or Europe. Uh, I post that on Instagram. So go and check that out down below. That is well and truly up at the moment on ETH. BTC has dropped. Link is down below. Follow me on Twitter. Let's take a look at the gainers and the losers. Obviously, the ETH pairings have all lost because Ethereum is strong. Um, so these are just some coins that I look at, but I'll look at the majors here, just talk about those. Doge USD, obviously coming down. That's been a major spike, and I think all the masses are in now, and this is just starting to come down. It's hit our 50% level, which we're expecting. So uh, this level here, if this doesn't hold, then I would expect us to come back and retest these levels all the way down here. That will take time, could be months, could be weeks. This obviously took uh, a couple of months for it to build up. But Doge, if it doesn't hold this 50%, at worst case, the 20 cents, I think it's probably over for a little bit of time. It's pretty much worn. Uh, going down our list of other majors, XRP ETH obviously getting knocked down because ETH is climbing. So ETH is the better investment at the moment than XRP. XRP looks like it's topped out, look at that. Uh, hit resistance, previous support, now resistance. And that's a strong decline from that level. Uh, XRP could be another good buy uh, in the future, in a few days, weeks, months. Let's see where it accumulates again. And that's when it's a good time to buy when people aren't talking about it. But this got absolutely hyped up. Uh, okay, XLM, that was another big one. It's just been a loser. It's been a major loser, unfortunately, for XLM, where it should be having a bull market at some point. But Unfortunately, this thing is still trend bound in this range, just getting destroyed. So that's another major. I just wanted to point out some of the top 10 stuff. Engine, USD, critical levels now. This is the 50%. We are on 50% at $2.20. Break down from here and break of that low. NFT space will probably cool off. And I think that's probably the case. Big volume on the way up, smaller volume for the next pop. Uh, the next top and it didn't pop let's have a look at some of the big gainers and soul soul you know is one of my favorites this is starting to scare me a little bit because we are heading up in a vertical direction solana bitcoin uh, i didn't get in as early as i would have loved to but this is a major ethereum competitor but i don't think it's going to be one winner i just think solana is going to have some of the better gains out of the smart contracts in, in in the space and currently it's definitely showing signs of having better gains um, sol usd definitely starting to scare me a little bit because we're just heading straight up and the volume is is huge 
just spiking out volume up there. Uh, but it's been a good trade since the breakout here of around 30 bucks. So, so far, not too bad, 30%, not huge, but at least at least we've, we're moving in a bullish direction while the rest of the market had been falling. This was the day that Bitcoin flash crashed and the rest of the market went with it. Uh, Sol flash crashed and then took off again. So I'm pretty comfortable with Sol. Even if we have a pullback here, it'd just be another time for me to start loading up on some more Sol. All right, uh, last couple, Uni BTC. A little bit on the move. It's trying to break out of these tops. Looking all right. We've got version three coming up in about two weeks time, maybe a little less. So that's still quite strong. Matic BTC, hopefully we get a breakout and a consolidation above these levels. A la uh, Ethereum layer two uh, solution here and they are getting a lot of projects come across to them. Um, so that's that would be one of my other picks for the, the I guess, the smart contracts and places for people to uh, start building on or at least use their network to uh, decrease the gas fees. And uh, let's look at a crowd favorite being Cardano. So Cardano BNB is up, but I want to find Cardano uh, BTC. Here we go. So it's pretty much stable. Cardano BTC stable at the moment. That's good. And Cardano, I will look at, uh, sorry, Cardano on the dollar. All right. So it has had a little bit of a fall here. So bringing our metrics... Well, look at that, it's about 50% is at 95 cents. So I'm still pretty confident with Cardano. We get a nice accumulation, we're still in this range. That's cool. We did get some volume to push out, but it just didn't make it. That's fine, more time to accumulate at these levels. I'll make mention that I have a Cardano staking pool starting up. So if you're interested, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter, I'll let you know when that is live as well. It's just an easy way to support the channel and of course earn some passive income on the ADA that you might be holding in uh, one of your wallets. So yeah, stay tuned for that. That's it for today's video. Got through our Bitcoin Ethereum update. Bitcoin is looking like it's heading to that target. Let's keep following it. It's something that we looked at after Sunday's flash crash where we basically called that, yay. Anyway, this is trading, you can always get it wrong, but that was from the GAN rules. We called the, uh, the top and the, well, at least the turn and the dump. So that was from Sunday's video. Ethereum today, still strong. It's definitely, like you know, for months and months and months, one of my strongest positions, uh, which you can follow on Instagram. So go and check that out down below. Join the newsletter, free newsletter. Link down below, lots of stuff going on. <laughs> I'm just trying to keep up with it all through this crazy time. And I will be publishing some more videos in the next 24 hours. Stay tuned, subscribe, like, share it with someone that you know will find value from it. I'll see you at the next video. Until then, have more fun to get more done. <laughs>